All right. Uh, I'm Michael Weinberg. I'm the president of the board of the Open Source Hardware Association of Oshawa. And I'm here to give you a little bit of information about what's going on, a talk about what Oshawa has been up to, and then when I'm done talking, close this summit. And I, I want to just thank, first thank everyone. I actually, uh, I got here this morning and I was, I was dragging. I was not uh, awake or engaged. And I was worried. I was like, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a long day. And I have to say, I, I feel great now. Like this is a, I love this event. This is just, it always puts me in a good mood. It's always amazing to see this community come together, everyone come together, give great presentations. So, so thank you for, if nothing else, you've energized me and I appreciate that. Uh, I, I really appreciate all of you coming out to do that for me. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to say I want to say some thank yous. Uh, first, I want to thank all the speakers. I think that uh, for, uh, people who've given talks at events know that speaking at these events is more than just getting up for 15 minutes or sitting on a panel and doing it. Uh, it requires research and preparation and and building these things. And so, uh, speakers, for all of the work that you did, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. This is an event where. While this is a great event to come and see people and talk to people as a community, it really is an event that people come to for the presentations, for the speakers, because of all the work that the speakers put into it. So, so thank you so much, speakers, for, for all the work that you did. This was fantastic. There's going to be like a lot of clapping in this talk. I, I also want to thank uh, some of the people. A huge number of people have done a, a massive amount of work to make this event happen. And I want to, to thank at least some of them. You know, these things don't just happen. They take a year worth of planning and coming together. Um, last year at the summit, we announced that for the first time, Oshawa was a place to have an, an, a paid employee. And so uh, Caleb is our first employee. We have one now. He is amazing. He's been doing great work. And then the summit chairs, uh, Eileen did, was the, was the ticket chair. She's the one who made all the ticketing work, all the check-in work. She did a fantastic work. Luis did an amazing job as the sponsor chair. This was one of our most successful sponsorship summits we've ever had, if not the most. And that's because of just dogged work. First of all, it's because of the amazing support of the sponsors but also because of the dogged work that he did uh, tracking people down. And you know, one of the things that's really fantastic is, is you look at these sponsor uh, lists over the years, is that not only is the list growing bigger uh, to support the summit, to support the community, but we're watching sponsors who started as, as sort of small, low level, level sponsors grow into higher level sponsors. And, and that's great for supporting the summit, but I think more importantly what that shows is that open source hardware works. These are companies who started small and are growing based on, based on the community. And so it's, it's really fantastic to see it. So, so thank you to all of them. Thank you, Luis, for doing that work. And then of course, um, you cannot list people to thank for the Open Hardware Summit without thanking uh, the Doyan of, of the Open Hardware Summit, <laughs> the Zarina, I don't know what the right title is, but Addy, who, who just chairs this thing and does just amazing job making all of this happen. <laughs> so thank you all so much. Um, so for those of you who are, are careful students of the human condition, who really pay attention to what's happening. You may have noticed that I'm not Alicia, <laughs> uh, the president of the Open Hardware, Open Source Hardware Association. Uh, Alicia usually gives this presentation about what's going on with Oshawa. Uh, she's not here right now. She's been working on an Arduino project uh, that, that also uh, requires a baby, so uh, she... <laughs> She has, she and, and Jack, uh, send their love, say hello. Uh, she's, she will be at the next summit, she'll be back engaged, but she's, uh, she's been busy building this. She's gonna get it certified soon, everything's gonna be great. Uh, but in the meantime, she, she sends her love and, and says hello. 
the, the other thing I wanted to mention, a couple of things I want to mention is, is, I know we've mentioned this before, but for those of you who, who didn't get a chance to hear it, um, people ask, next summit, next summit, next summit, what's going on? That's a great question to ask. So next year, our summit will be uh, on the east coast of the United States. If you have strong opinions or thoughts about where specifically on the east coast of the United States it should be, uh, come find us. Oh, that's, that picture's not right. Oh, that's fine. It's close enough. You know what the east coast of the United States looks like. You're, you're educated people. It's like historical east coast. It's fine. Um, if you have strong feelings about what the East Coast of the United States actually means geographically, <laughs> if you think that there's a place that the summit should be next year, come find me, come find another board member, because we're trying to nail that down pretty soon, but we're still open to being persuaded. And, and a hugely persuasive thing as to where the summit will be next year is where there are people on the ground who would love to be one of the people who are thanked at the end of the summit. So, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then the year after that, 2019, uh, we are going to China. We are going to do a summit in China. We're going to, to pull that together. So it, it takes some time to pull that together. So bear with us, but we'll be doing that. Also, if you have strong opinions about how that should go in China, uh, let them be known to me or someone else on the board. We need, uh, we need the help of this community to pull this all together, but I'm confident that we can do it. Now, another thing that Oshawa has been working on, besides the summit, besides uh, all these other things, is, is one small thing, but important thing, is we are moving the, the traditional discuss email list back onto the forums at this, on, on, on Oshawa.org. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that discussion is really open and accessible to everyone. So that switch will be happening uh, in the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, and we've also been doing a lot of work around the certification and what's happening online. Uh, for those of you who were at the summit last year, you know that we announced the certification program. Wow, I just blew all these slides and graphics. So this is what happens when you have lawyers do graphics. Um, last year, we announced the certification program. And the big part of the certification program is we were hearing from the community uh, two things. First, they were hearing a lot of people talk about open source hardware, but there were conflicts when one person's definition of open source hardware didn't match another person's definition of open source hardware, and there were problems. And so what we said is, OK, we're going to do a certification. So if you see a logo that doesn't look like that, but looks like the actual certification logo, which you can find on Oshawa.org, you know that that, that that piece of hardware, when they talk about it being open source hardware, it matches the community definition of open source hardware with all of the requirements. And the other thing that we had heard from people was they needed help figuring out how to meet that definition. And so if you apply for the certification, which is free, it walks you through the process so you make sure you're doing all the things to comply with open source hardware certification and the definition. The other thing that it does as kind of a side effect is you get a unique ID which allows anyone, any user, to look up all your documentation on the Oshawa site. So you can look at the ID if you're a user. You can find everything you need. You can find the licenses, the documentation, the software, the whole thing. Now, when we launched that, we didn't quite know what would happen. We thought it was neat. We thought it would be a, a cool thing. But we, we hope people would really like it. Uh, we found out in the years since that there are now 118 different projects that have been fully certified through the program from 15 different countries. And that's just, that's a really fantastic number. We're really excited about that. That shows that people are really engaged with the certification. And that's a really, you know, when you look at the actual, the actual projects, the actual hardware that's certified, it's an incredible range. Right, we've got big open source hardware companies. We've got, we've got Lulzbot and Adafruit and SparkFun. We've got small individuals who are certifying their own thing. We've got breakout boards. We've got medical equipment. We've got 3D printer filament. We're seeing the entire breadth of open source hardware come and use that certification. If you go and look at the certification registry right now, you can see amazing things that are happening in open source hardware. And so we think it's really been an effective tool so far. But we're still getting questions from people. And so we're trying to decide, what is Oshawa doing next? One of the questions we've got over and over is people who are looking for more guidance 
on how to do open source hardware, how to do the documentation, how to think about licensing, how to make things available. And so for the last year, we've been partnering with a law clinic at NYU and some open source educational experts to build a new body of content to help explain that. Now, historically, over the years, we've generated a, an incredible number of resources, right? We have the definition, we have the best practices, we have the FAQ, we have the certification process, but those have been layered, those have accreted over time. And so what this new hub is designed to do is to take all that information, pull it together, make it accessible, whether or not you're a, a longtime open source hardware person that just wants to get something certified, somebody new who wants to explore the process. If you want to see what projects and pieces of hardware that have inspired you, how they've handled this process, that's a place to do it. And so we have the content has been developed over the last year. The next year is going to be building out that website. Actually, uh, I put in, I put in a, a revised budget proposal to a funder yesterday. Uh, if you have thoughts and feelings about how that kind of site should be designed, please come find me and talk to me because we are going to be actively developing it this year. Uh, if you have thoughts and feelings about how you really want to help pay for that kind of site, also come find me. We'll figure it out. Um, but just so you see, like, this is the kind of thing we're talking about. We're talking about a site that really has a bunch of information that's really accessible and easy to explore. We'll share these later. Uh, I know it's hard to read on the, on the board. Um, but it'll really give breakouts for every certified piece of hardware so you understand all the things that are being done and you can learn more about why it has been done. So it's not just learning about open source hardware in the abstract. You can find the pieces of hardware that inspire you and follow their journey and follow their process to help answer questions for yourself. Uh, this is just another example. So finally, I will say, first of all, thank you all for coming to the summit and making the summit the successful event that it is. This is a community event, and it works because so many people come and are engaged and care about open source hardware. It works because you're here. It works because you're engaged. So thank you for that. And I will say, if you want to get even more involved, there's a lot of opportunities. If you have thoughts or feelings or opinions about any of the things that I've mentioned today, or you feel like there's something that Oshawa should be doing but isn't doing, getting more involved is a great way to do that. Now, the easiest way to do that besides coming to the summit, is to join Oshawa as a member. And you should think about that. I urge you to do it. Consider doing it, getting involved. And then even more than that is you should join the Oshawa board. The Oshawa board is a working board. It's a volunteer board of the, the things that Oshawa is doing is because the board is doing it. And so if you want to be involved, if you want to be engaged, joining the board is the way to do it. You have to nominate yourself. It can be a little scary. But it's OK, because you're great, and you should be on the board. So you should think about doing it. If, if joining the board seems like a little bit too much, if you join Oshawa, then you get to decide who is on the board ultimately. So you can help guide the process and understand what the next year of Oshawa is going to mean. So and if you have questions about what it means to be on the board, uh, you can come find me. We have a whole bunch of current board members. They all have great uh, Open Gear logos on. Yeah, board members, raise your hand so people can find you. Um, ask us questions. Uh, you know, tell us what we should be doing differently. That would be fantastic. And then before I will close, I will say for the, for the Ada Fellows, if you're thinking to yourself, this event, ha this event has been fantastic, but uh, they told me that I would get some money. The place to go for the money is this guy over here. Just, just for the Adafell, not like Just for the Adafells, yeah, for everybody else. I mean, you know, if you're charming, you never know what'll happen. Um, but with that, I will say, again, thank you all for coming, for making another amazing summit, for being so engaged. Uh, this is a great day. I find this to be a fantastic, inspiring day. Thank you to all the sponsors. We are, we are here until 6.30, at which point we will no longer be here. So we will be kicked out, and we will leave, and that's fine. Uh, there'll be plenty of things happening afterwards. 
But thank you all once again. There are drinks and food in the back. There is cool stuff at tables on both sides. Uh, thanks for a fantastic day, everybody.